Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, the weather pattern is not going to change that much after yesterday's showers and thunderstorms, even though we're going to see less of a chance of that happening today. There could be a remote or renegade shower that pops up later today, but for the most part, we're going to stay dry. You got to watch out for the fog this morning, but rain chances will stay in our seven day forecast. Here's a look at first alert live not the radar. Nothing showing up this morning. Again, be careful of the fog. There's a lot of it out there. Visibility is near zero in some cases around southern Kentucky. The worst of the fog is going to be, say, out at uh, Barron River Lake or Green River Lake, down toward Lake Cumberland, back to the west, land between the lakes, maybe Lake Malone, Nolan Lake, off to the north, Rough River Lake. All the lakes and rivers is where some of the fog is going to be the worst. And in those locations outside of rivers and lakes that picked up the rain showers yesterday, that's where the fog is going to be the thickest this morning. We're at 71 degrees right now. Rain chances, as I mentioned, will continue over the next few days, uh, especially as we get into Saturday. Now we're looking at maybe a 10 to 20 percent chance today, a pop-up shower tomorrow, same for Friday. But a cold front will be coming in on Saturday. That's going to raise our rain chance to 60%. And some of the rain could be heavy, like we saw in previous days. Any thunderstorms that form with that cold front could be rather strong. And some of the moisture content, very tropical like air mass, could produce some very heavy rain as we get into Saturday. So factor that in if you're going outdoors. But after that, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week, looks rain-free right now. In fact, looks a little cooler and even a lot less humid. Current temperatures now in the mid-60s off to the north and west, 65 in Calhoun. Then you drop to Russellville and it's 70, 71 in Litchfield, 71 in Campbellsville and in Burksville at this hour. With those dew points still running high, the upper 60s, low 70s with some of that fog and that mugginess still in the air. Here is a view now. This is down Scottsville Road from the other direction. Uh, last half hour, we were showing you from uh, the uh, or the eastern side of the interstate. Now we're looking from the west side, and this is Scottsville Road in front of the Bowling Green Airport from the Independence Bank weather cam. You can still see some of the fog there in the distance, almost lining up with the interstate. So be careful if you're out driving this morning. 71, the current temperature with a light south wind at four miles per hour, and the humidity is at full saturation at 100 percent. Tompkinsville and our newest AAA systems weather cam. You're not seeing too much fog down there in Monroe County, but be careful. Some of the hills and valleys will have some of that. 70 degrees now. That's the Custer cam up in Breckenridge County. You certainly have a lot of fog this morning. 67, your temperature. 70 in Russellville. You can see some of the fog back behind uh, the uh, town square as you're traveling out the old 6880 and 431. You're at 70 degrees now. Green River Lake, there's certainly some fog around there this morning. Campbellsville, Columbia, Greensburg. Campbellsville will see a high today around 88, 87 for Columbia, 89 for Greensburg today. And once the fog begins to dissipate, you'll see mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. The uh, Powerball jackpot for tonight estimated to be at $100 million, and the next Mega Millions drawing estimated to be at $33 million. 71, the current temperature right now at the Bowling Green Airport, muggy 70s to the south, cooler 60s off to the north thanks to that front and some of the rains have been through. In fact, some of these temperatures running 5 to 10 degrees cooler than yesterday at this hour. We're 3 degrees cooler than at this hour just yesterday. There go the showers and the thunderstorms out of the picture. One little cluster of thunderstorms back out toward Kansas City. Not much going to happen here today. Tail end of that front may produce an isolated shower, but beyond that, I don't think there's going to be much else going on. Warm front will signal more of a southerly wind flow the next few days. That's going to heat us up into the low 90s the next couple of days, hot and humid. And each day there is that possibility of a stray shower or thunderstorm. The better chance of rain, though, as you saw at the beginning, coming on Saturday. Warm and humid. An isolated shower cannot be ruled out today. 89, 70 tonight, mainly clear with patchy fog. 92 tomorrow, 91 on Friday, 86 Saturday, and there's our best chance of rain and thunderstorms. But then everything moves away in time for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, cooler, drier, less humid, high temperatures in the low to mid 80s.